This is the most historic vote that I have taken in over 20 years. Jubilation in the Capitol, at least for some, with the passing of the Student Success Act, a bill that would raise $2 billion for education through a tax on some businesses. This is the most important vote for the children of our state, for, for our communities, for our education system. While Democratic Senator Jenny Burdick is a big supporter of the bill, her Republican counterpart, Senator Tim Canope, is not. Well, I agree with many of the provisions of this bill and the pol education policy in it. Uh, the tax package, I think, is um, not equitable in, in the way it's uh, currently crafted. Monday's 18 to 11 vote would not have been possible had Republicans not ended their day's long walkout, which in the end came at a steep price. To simply get Republicans back in the building, Democrats agreed to drop a gun control bill. And yes, I am disappointed to lose my bill. As well as the vaccine exemption bill, co-sponsored by Republican Representative Sherry Helt, who said in a statement, it's disappointing that once again, the loudest, most extreme voices in our politics prevailed and the sensible center and thoughtful policymaking lost. Here's Senate President Peter Courtney. It was difficult. It's, uh, all I'm going to say is I'm glad you weren't there. It's very difficult when we, we had to talk about these things. Difficult discussions and decisions in order to pass an education bill described as transformational. We've struggled with this ever since 1990. And today we got over the finish line. I still can hardly believe it. Now, before this bill becomes law, Governor Kate Brown must put pen to paper and all signs point to that happening. Remember, she's credited with helping get the bill through the Senate. We'll be sure to keep you posted on how this all plays out. Little back to you.